Now that we have Visa, I'm definitely bringing her. And hmm, do I want Beador or do I want Atten? That's a real question. I don't really want to bring Kreia, and T3 won't be of too much use to me, I don't think. So it's eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so we're bringing. Unless we want to do, my mother told me to pick the very best one, and it is not you, you dirty old dish rag, you. That literally comes out to either or, so it's still the same scenario. Hold on, let me find a coin. Alright, I found a nickel. Nickels aren't really the best for- oh! Well, that's... oh, great. Uh, I just ripped a huge hole in the seat of my pants as I sat down. That is unfortunate. Yeah, uh, anyway, so uh, I found a nickel. Not exactly the most ideal coin for flipping, but found one anyway. So heads, it's Atten. Tails, it's Beador. There's no way you can actually see this, so you'll have to take my word for it because I don't do face cam. Uh, but it is Tails, so we are bringing Beador. All right. Oh, I should put my headphones back on so I can hear what's going on, shouldn't I? Ignore my technical difficulties. I, I was wondering, because Visa is introduced to us to be kind of like an untrustworthy Sith, but at the same time, she has an almost maxed light side meter. Like, she has more light points than Beador does, just below my own light side points. So, I know what to do in order to obtain the lightsaber pieces and actually I was thinking the way we're going about this thing with trying to get Mira as soon as possible we're technically going to get Mira second to last out of all our or third to last out of all the party members we could possibly have because we'll be getting her the only two we'll be getting after her are Godo and Mandalore neither of whom I use particularly often in the last one so we'll just have to see how that goes. There's, there's actually a question I wanted to ask you guys as viewers. Um, oh, I forgot about the Kinrath. Uh, just give me a sec. But the question I wanted to ask you guys is, I, how do you like the way this particular series is progressing? Because it seems like right now, I'm focusing a lot about the dialogue. And as I'm editing it, I'm kind of thinking, is this going to be boring to you guys? And I've always tried to edit it so it's more about the story rather than the action. Because I feel like the action, to me, the action gets a little repetitive as I watch it over again. It doesn't feel so repetitive when, uh, why, why are they damaged? Oh, they're over there. They, they went and fought those things, didn't they? Silly Beador and Visas. I don't want this to become boring to anyone, is what I'm trying to say. And... As I was editing the previous episode, there were a lot more... Uh, wow, one hit. There was a lot more uh, dialogue with Visa and a lot more dialogue with Kreia that got cut. And I haven't been cutting very much dialogue so far. And I just want to know, like, do you think... Well, Beador died. Just go off and do his own... He went off and did his own thing. And Visa's about to die. Which she just did. Now I gotta go save them, because they're gonna try to revive. Or no, they're not. <sighs> what can you do? But I just want to keep this series entertaining for you guys. And why am I not, like, destroying these guys? Okay, there we go. Finally. I tried to, I tried to avoid all the Kinraths. But they just weren't about that. I guess while we're here, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. This will get me some influence with Beador if I remember correctly. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. So what are you doing out here? A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. 
One of the Western French farmers was coming to coon down his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Do you suspect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no need for atmospheric sensors except for seasonal data collection. Huh? It's just important we get it back. They're expensive pieces of equipment, and we can't afford Is there a bit of an echo? Them. Regardless, I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something. Um, why do you want those sensors? I just really need them. It's important. Please come to me if you find any of the atmospheric sensors. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you find, whether they're broken or not. Any idea where they could be? No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. Well, let me put my other thing on. Let's see. I'll see what I can do. Oh, and of course, as I put my... I only had one... Uh, one ear covered as I was listening to that, but it felt like I ha it felt like this had an echo, which makes no sense given that we're in a big open area. I mean, yeah, big open area usually does have an echo, but we're not in like the cave. Did the kinrath respond? The kinrath respond. Gosh darn it! At least it's just one this time. Though if Beador and Vesa keep dying like this, I may not want to keep them in my party because there's a part coming up where we have to go into the uh, enclave. And they gonna die a lot. The mercenary ahead doesn't notice you. He appears to be walking past the Kinrath unharmed. I already know. We go that way, we advance the plot, which I don't want to do just yet. I want to go this way. Now. Let's get this over with. Ouch. These things do a lot of damage. I shall make this one Well, Visa died already. Maybe I shouldn't bring her along. I want her because she has heal now, but... There was something I was reading that said I needed to have Persuade level 11 for something, which I have 14, so I'm already good there. Huh. Hold on, let me see. Can I... I can actually. So, Visa, as much as I like you around, we might. Then again, how's she gonna level if I don't have her in my party? So, come back to me, man. Although, wait a second. Wait a second. Just one moment. This is where the thing is the atmospheric sensor. This is how I gain influence with Beador. You don't know about what? The sensors? They are vitally important pieces of equipment on tectonically or environmentally unstable regions. But do you really need atmospheric sensors on Dantooine? Can you examine one of the sensors? I have this open in no time. Child's play. Inside the atmospheric sensor is a hidden surveillance device. No wonder Saeed wants it so badly. Saidi? Said he? I have no idea how you say that name. Good work, Beador. I know they can level, but now I have a master power attack, so let's go to town on these Kinrath. If I could actually land a blow. I just remembered too. This is incredibly hard up ahead. Or it was for me the first time. Like, the only way I got through it was by constantly saving my game and running away <laughs> so hoping I have a better shot because I have better armor than I did last time and uh, I don't know necessarily about having a stronger team so I don't know if I had Visa with me before I don't think I did I think I just had Kreia and Beador I didn't use that very much in the first uh, my first play around Who's? Who was shooting? 
Oh, yeah, I should heal myself. There's no one here. Who was shooting? I saw the blaster and I heard it. No one has a gun equipped. Like, I don't even think I have... Like, even in my second slot, I don't think any of these guys have... Okay, this is where it's going to get bad. So, we are going to save our game as... A wrath cave. And... Now it is time for shields. And my melee shield is no longer, is it? So let's equip a new one. So put one on, you put one on, and you put one on. Alright, and now for shield, which is only going to help me, but at the same time, let's just go. Oh, this isn't, oh, it's just two. I thought there was going to be more than that. Does this heal Beador as well? Yep, it does. Well, I knew it would heal him, but did it cure him is what I wanted to ask. So this is where everything's gonna go to heck. Your thoughts are disturbed. I or maybe not. From a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Echoes. I feel echoes of the force here. Force sensitive locations such as this absorb and reflect force energy. The crystals are the catalyst here. I sense that Revan once passed through here, leaving a strong impression behind in the crystals. Perhaps future Jedi who visit this cave will feel our presence, as if seeing our footprints preserved in the soil. Tell me more about the crystals. The crystals here are infused with the Force. Some could be harvested and used for lightsabers. You, cr you said the crystals absorb the Force? I feel strange, but... Not weaker. The crystals here do not drain force energy from Jedi. They collect the excess energy that radiates from those attuned to the force. Okay. Sounds good. Now this is where everything goes to heck. This part right here. So I need to keep a close eye on everybody's health. Make sure no one dies. Although this is... I've killed so many of them already, and, like, Beador's the only one who's taking damage. What the heck? You are no match for us. I'm in shock. It took me, like, 15 tries last time. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's more. Okay, there's always more. Where, okay, where you, okay, there. Uh, no, what am I doing? Yeah, that was... That's a thing. Anyway, crystal formation. I got a purple thing in a velorite crystal. Let's just smash the egg. In Knights of the Old Republic 1, you could uh, actually get uh, crystals from the eggs, but I don't think you get them in this game. I think you just go around and smash all the eggs. A fond crystal. I'm rather fond of the fond crystal than glowing crystal formation. I got the Sophie Douglas crystal. The crystal responds to you. This is very rare indeed. What does that mean? The crystal's bond with you is such that the stronger you become in the Force, the more powerful your crystal will grow. This crystal will make an excellent focus for a lightsaber. Is the Bond dangerous? Quite the contrary. James Picture Bond is dangerous, but this one might not be. The force as water pouring into you. This crystal draws from the excess water that escapes the sieve. Does the crystal feed off the light side of the force? The crystal is in tune with you. It will use whatever water that pours through you, be it dark or light. That's good. Hey, right. okay. I love how my response to everything now is just okay. And I think there's one more over here that I can look at. No? Is that it? There's a lot less crystals in this game than there were in the first. Oh. Visa just teleported. No biggie. 
Stop looking at the Kinrath. Get out of the cave. And now, in order for me to enter the Jedi Enclave, I need to go and talk to Administrator Adairi. I just remembered stuff is going to respawn. That's not going to be cool. Or maybe not. I don't see any, actually. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really need it. Yeah, them. I am hearing an I echo. I don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He well, swears what's he's that? a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. I'm not going to talk to them. We'll talk to Suluru first. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Why not? Tuned is like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Uh, you fought in the war? Yes, I fought in the Jedi Civil War. I guess we won. I couldn't tell here, though. Feels like we've been forsaken by the Republic. The war was very unkind to Dantooine. That hidden enclave cost us a great deal. A great deal. What's your problem? Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then they sell what they find back to us at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Salvagers stole your equipment? Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrics came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. I went to their camp to get back my moisture evaporator. This smug fellow, Joran, told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it belongs to him now. He said he'd give it to me for the bargain price of 500 credits. I wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I paid this scoundrel. Now the moisture evaporator doesn't work because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Joran is offering to sell me a modulator he found for another 500 credits. Is there anything I can do to help? I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. Certainly not. If you not. could go to the salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator... I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. Where is the salvager camp? It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. All right, I'll see what I can do. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. Cool beans. I don't think this guy offers you anything. A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adare. You're the owner of the, um, ship that just landed? It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Sophie. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual. But you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? Uh, sh I came in that ship, yes. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. I'd prefer if you keep that quiet. The Jedi don't seem to be liked here, or particularly anywhere these days. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. I'm looking for Jedi. Could you tell me who you're talking about? My friend, 
Let's just call him Frook. Well, we already know his name's Rook. And our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? He didn't send for me, but I would like to meet with him. Rook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? Uh, I will make it my first priority. We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Do the people of Dantooine really hate Jedi? To most people in the galaxy, the distinction between Sith and Jedi is a blurry one, especially since most Sith were once Jedi. It is complicated by the fact that Malak and Revan were great heroes of the Republic and famed Jedi Knights. But a few years later, they were leading an armada which threatened everyone. And here on Dantooine, the Jedi Enclave provoked a brutal occupation by the Sith. It could have been far worse, but even now the damage has not been fully mended. And hatred makes it more difficult for the Jedi to help them. I don't think everyone hates Jedi. If just a few people changed their minds or spoke up, it could make a great deal of difference. I think that we need the help of the Jedi. If the Jedi's reputation isn't redeemed, the consequences could be quite regrettable. Until then, I would keep your identity secret. Hey, I'll be going now. As this guy yawns fabulously. <laughs> Just look at that. Anyway, I'm wasting time.